Oh, I tell ya, watch out people. Hello, Gigi. Hello, Guts and Grace. Hello, Plexus friends. And welcome to our weekly 10, 10, 10 call. These are such a joy to me. I love starting out the week with belief coming from all angles, all the angles, right? We have belief in our amazing products that are changing lives every single day. Belief in our business, our compensation plan, our opportunity, our executives, our company, you guys believe in network marketing. And then we end with like, well, actually I just mentioned products already. We, we end with product training so that you know what to offer your current customers. We don't just like set up our customers and say, bye, have fun. You look up some other things on the website to try. No, like I hope after this call and you're, you're going to hear from Kim Bergstrom at the end of this call concerning block. I was like, when was the last time I suggested block to anybody? Like none of my customers from this year that I have signed up know probably mm -hmm. anything about block and we're about to change our lives because it is the holiday season. Okay. So we're going to start out with Brittany Hogue. She's going to share some of her health testimonial with us. And she is coming from all angles because she was on with us a few weeks ago, but she has more for us. Then we have Diamond Emily Burgess and I am just so excited for her to share. Bless her heart. I was like, hey, just pretend like you're on your deathbed talking to your team. What do you want to leave with them? And she's like, ah. So we'll see what she has for us. I don't know if that's really the road that she went down, but I'm like, yes. Meaning bring the fire. You don't need to be like, one day I was hanging out at the park and then I saw this lady and she was drinking a pink drink. We're like, no, just give us the fire, right? Okay, and then last, we're going to end with Kim Bergstrom. And again, she's going to bring us block. Let's get going. Um, I do have just two announcements. This is super important. You guys, our team this month is doing two different three-day reset, like all team challenges. So the first one is before Thanksgiving, November 15th to the 17th. It's a Tuesday through Thursday. And then the second is November 28th through the 30th. And that's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let your people choose. I love giving people options. It puts them in the seat of like, I'm taking ownership for this baby. Don't forget to, like you have so many subscriptions to go out for the rest of the month. All of us do go to your people and be like, if you add on a reset this month, you get $20 off, okay? Also really wanna encourage you to do something local. Don't be afraid to invite a neighbor. What if just one person doesn't with you and shows up like on day one with you and you guys can like cheers your pink drink and like, let's do this thing. And then day four, celebrate and have fruit for breakfast or something simple. Really want to encourage you to do this, make it fun, do it with others, draw them in. And then guess what? We're going to do it again in December and January. I am okay, trying to listen to this. Just, Brittany, you know, I'll try to turn it down so it doesn't bother you. We got unmuting, muting to do. There we go. And Brittany, you can now unmute and take it away, girl. All right. Hello, hello. Um, so I started Plexus um, three years, almost three years ago. And when I started, I have two littles. Mine were, or they are 18 months apart. <laughs> they're still 18 months apart, even though they're older. Um, but when I first started, I noticed I struggled my joint, sorry, my joint, I actually started for hormonal imbalance, but things that I didn't know were going to happen, happened. So I noticed I was very, very attached to my kids to the point where I could not let them Don't touch the computer. play at the park, like without me right there, or we would go on hikes with my husband and they wanted to like climb up on the hills or higher rocky areas. And it would freak me out. Like I would get palm sweaty, pouring sweat, like heart palpations. And I just thought it was normal mom life, right? Like my kids are doing big, scary things. And I didn't know that that could even change. So that had been going on. And after I joined for my hormonal imbalance, um, I was on the triplex for like six months. And all of a sudden we went for another hike and I was like, Whoa, my kids wanted to go to the top. And I'm like, have fun. I'm not going up there, but bye kids. And my husband, when he got back down was like, 
you didn't freak out. Like you let the kids go. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's weird. Like I didn't think about it. And I was like, I was even taking pictures, like cheering them on. And it clicked that I'm like, what was different? And it is just everything balancing out and it became normal. I became like less scared of my mom wanted to take them to the grocery stores. I'm like, okay, bye. Not like, I'll go with you, mom. And let me hold their hands too. And so little things begin to change on top of my bigger story, which was my hormones started balancing out. Um, my menstrual cycle became very regular, which was something that had never happened. I'm 32 and I have always had irregular menstrual cycles. Um, they became super easy. Um, all the different things. And I was like, wow, something changed. And I didn't realize how much I needed gut health and how I, instead of the doctors prescribing all sorts of other things, right. To help or another thing to help me, it was three little things could change so much in my life. And instead of being put on six different other things to help. Right. So, um, things like that started to help I started sleeping better. I was able to really be the mom I wanted to be. I had the energy to keep up with my wild and crazy children. Um, and my husband was like, okay, after like seven months, he's like, I, I think I want to try what you're trying. Cause he was a big skeptical and skeptic. And so my husband is a semi-truck driver. He drives nights. He drives 600 miles a day. So he drives a lot. Like he drives to a whole nother state and comes back every night. He unfortunately was living off of energy drinks and coffee, right? To keep you on the road. And he doesn't just drive like the little semi trucks. He drives the ones with the three trailers long, like the humongous ones. So he has to stay focused and alert all night long. And so he would take two to three energy drinks. And I'm like, we have got to get you off of those. So when he was like, what are you doing? I was really excited that he wanted to join and try them. He loves active edge is his favorite thing. And he has now recently discovered hydrate. In fact, he's on more products than I am because he just loves them. But, um, he's able to stay alert alert and awake all night long. Um, the energy drinks, he would have crashes. So as he's driving, he'd get super tired and have to pull over and take naps. And with active and edge, he's able to stay alert, focus on the roads, even it snowed today. So he's like, Oh, I got this. Like, it's not a big deal when he goes to work. So it's really exciting. And he craves no energy drinks whatsoever anymore. He doesn't drink the pops like he used to. And he feels better. He's able to sleep during the day instead of like struggling to sleep. And he's able to stay awake all night and not have to take naps. So that was kind of a huge blessing in a sense of he saw my journey and wanted to check out what I have. And now he loves the products and he's healthier. <laughs> and we know that he is focused on that road and not have to worry about falling asleep at the wheel. So that's just a little bit of our story. We love the products. We're forever Plexus family. <laughs> so. Friend, did you just say that your husband's on more products than you are? Yes. <laughs> he keeps trying. He keeps trying stuff like, oh, what do you have, honey? Yeah. And I'm like, Kate, listen, you, you already, I think he's on like 10 of the products because he loves them. And he's like, I want to try that next month. I'm like, I got to rank up a little bit more <laughs> before you start taking every single product, but it's cheaper than his energy drinks and like gas station food. So I'm like, I mean, I'll take it. Right. That's right. And you guys are young too. So I'm just thinking about, oh my goodness, like getting all those chemicals out and like the heart palpitating ingredients from energy drinks. He's going to be so much healthier for you and your beautiful family in your thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties all the way up. Thank you so much friend for sharing. And I know you have more, you guys, she has more like Plexus has changed our lives in multiple areas. We have children. We have, do you know how many babies we have from our team? 
I mean, I would love to go and count how many babies have been put on some of our products through their mama's breast milk or a little bit like in their mouths under the tongue. It is incredible. In one of our chats um, last night, I think it was in team ownership chat, Liz Krause pump and chat. Somebody was sharing that one of their clients, it was Margaret. She shared one of their clients, like their baby had horrible eczema and she got the triplex through a mama's breast milk and a little bit of probile five in bio cleanse. And in six months, all of that was addressed. I'm like, oh my goodness. I love seeing babies and children affected by our products too. So keep sharing you guys, even your new customers. Some of them might not realize that their children can be on our chewable or they can have a couple sips of pink drink. So thank you so much, Brittany, for sharing. Always love having you, friend. All right. Now we're onward. We're moving onward. Emily Burgess. It's your last Burgess. Burgess. That sounds very French. <laughs> I like turned everybody's name into a French name now after Ali Bashand here. Is it Burgess? It's Burgess. Yeah. Okay. But you can call me whatever you want. I'll answer okay. to it all. Welcome. You just take it away, lady. You guys, I've been watching this lady from afar from a while. Like, and there was a time, I think it was in Kona when I went up to her and I was like, I don't think we've really met. And she's like, oh no, Bridget, we have met before. Remember. This and this. You like, cannot oh, forget oh. meeting Bridget, right? Like that energy, those curly blonde ringlets, like you can't forget <laughs> meeting her. Now for me, like, I'm just like a brunette, like I'm like anybody else, but you cannot forget meeting this woman. That's for sure. Were you <laughs> at Super Saturday in Idaho? Were you know. the one who like ended up taking oh, over from the stage? Yes, yes. Yeah, Last I did. minute, I did. you were the yeah. emerald. Yeah. Yeah, like, it yeah, it was me. It was, was me. So that's when we met. Her. I'm so sorry. We keep talking over each other. But you guys, she she was a she was a last minute presenter at Super Saturday. Somebody got sick or pulled out, and they it was like the night before or something crazy, and they grabbed Emily and she got on stage and nailed it. And that's when I I don't think I met you that day, but I was like, oh wow, you go girl. And I knew I'm like, oh, she's a diamond. Well, thank you. Well, I am super honored to be asked to share a little bit of my story and to tell you what I would tell my team on my deathbed. I, I really got distracted by that. And then I started to like have some sorrow and I started to feel sad about my family and then I like bring it all back together. Like this is just like chill out in. Um, so I live in Idaho, in Boise, Idaho. Uh, yes, Liz, it's so fun that we're neighbors. So I want to tell you a little bit of my story, but that's going to go with my theme. But first, I want in the chat, would you guys share in the chat what rank you are? Even if you're not hitting that rank, I want to hear in the chat what your highest rank is. I love that so many of you are here and that you're at silver and you're here and you're showing up. Way to flip and go. Love this. Okay, next thing I want you to put in the chat is put a one if you are hopeful and you're having so much fun with your business right now or put a two if you're feeling a little bit defeated with your business. So one, hopeful, things are going great. Two, maybe feeling a little bit defeated. And be honest, because we all have those feelings. One and a half, I love that, Brittany. <laughs> okay, awesome, thank you guys. So I'm really passionate about Plexus and about what we get to do, which is really funny because for years and years, I swore I would never do Plexus. My friend sent me samples of the pink drink and I threw them in the trash. She sent me three sticks of Slim, which for all of you who are like me, like bargain, frugal, you're like, oh my gosh, that's $9 that you just threw in the trash. I did, I did not understand the products. I thought that they were probably full of chemicals. I was breastfeeding my second, my youngest child at the time, and I was fearful of what I would be putting in my body because I kept seeing all these testimonials of friends losing weight. So my mind just went to, this isn't healthy. I'm not going to take this. I'm going to throw it away. And that same friend, her name is Tamara Holloway. Do you guys know who she is? She's one of the top earners within our company. She and I went to college together. We kissed the same guys. Like We didn't like each other because of all of that. Um, but 20 years later, water under the bridge, she sent me samples and she kept telling me how 
much she believed in me. She kept telling me, and we weren't really close friends because of our history, but we were decent friends, but she would tell me how much she believed in me and how she believed that I could do this business and do this well. And she also said that I would like the products. I threw them away, appreciated what she had to say, but dismissed it all. But over those four years, she continually followed up with me and she continually built a relationship with me. So when it came time for me to go to Duplexis, I knew who I was gonna go with. I was gonna go with the girl who was consistent, who believed in me and who wasn't waiting for me, who wasn't constantly knocking on my door saying, come and do this, come and do this, come and do this. Because I think in those four years of her following up with me, she only messaged me three times about Plexus. Everything else, was her engaging, having a relationship with me. But all three of those times that she reached out to me in those four years, she was dripping belief. It was not a copy and paste message. I could hear her heart. I could hear her voice. And I knew that she was talking specifically to me because she was making it about me. She wasn't making it about herself. She wasn't telling me, hey, I'm about to win these Nike shoes. Can you please go and, and buy a thing, a triplex from me? It wasn't at all about her. So that was really important for me to see that I was believed in by her. It was also very important for me to see that if I were going to do this, I needed to do it with somebody that was actually in it. And she was in it because she wasn't waiting for me. She what I wasn't her, her golden ticket. I ignored her for months on end, but that didn't derail her. That didn't stop her. She didn't get in her head because I was ghosting her for 18 months. She kept going. She kept building her business. So when she started off, started out being in debt with her husband's PA school with, you know, credit cards, living in a small tiny shack in Arkansas and then 4 years later, I saw she actually was credible to what she was saying. She was actually a leader within this company. She was seeing advancements in her paycheck. She was now debt free and she was showing up to her business every day. That was very important to me. And I'm sure many of the people that you guys reach out to, they probably had other people with Plexus reach out to them, whether that was nine years ago or nine days ago. So what are you doing that is standing out? Are you being active on social media and sharing about your products? Are you sharing about different stories? Are you sharing about how the products, the business, the community has blessed your life? Are you reaching out and inviting people? Are you sharing your belief that you have in them? Are you raising your leadership lid? Are you showing up to your business daily? Because here's the thing. When that dream teamer says, okay, I'm ready. I, I want to come and do this. They are going to want to go with somebody that they trust that's going to lead them to where they want to go. They're going to go to a leader. So if you want to attract a leader, you have to be a leader. And I think it, we can get in our heads sometimes or we're in that number two where we're in that defeat. Like maybe somebody just canceled their account without telling you. Maybe somebody returned their products. Maybe your runner that had been going strong for a year, two years, she just said, it's not worth it. I'm done. Like I'm burned out. I'm tired. Maybe you're feeling burned out. You get a choice here on what you're going to do. And I think that choice is really fueled by your why. So we hear that all the time. Like you have to have a strong why. You need to know why you're doing this. But don't like let that in one ear and out the other ear. You have to have a vision for what you're doing and why you're doing it. So on those hard days, on those two days where you're feeling defeated, you know this is just part of the business. Not everything is rainbows and unicorns and cupcakes. You are a business owner and you need to show up and you need to have that understanding that you might have somebody that ghosts you for 18 months, but they're still watching. They're still checking to see, do you actually mean what you're saying? So I guess that's my question is, are you at a place where you're like feeling really hopeful and you're doing all the things great, but then on that day when it becomes a two and you're feeling a little bit defeated, is your why strong enough? Are you getting into action every single day? And that's something that I'm just really passionate about because I, I think with anything, whether you're exercising or you're trying to eat healthy or like my husband, he's a writer. We actually, because of Plexus, 
we actually were able to have him leave his his um, nonprofit job that he'd been working at for eight years. He liked it fine, but it was not giving him a life. And he had a lot of other passions to go and pursue that happened because of Plexus. We would have absolutely never been able to leave his ministry job had it not have been for Plexus. But he is a writer. So with writing, you can't just like write a book, right? Like it takes time, it takes discipline, it takes like you getting in and doing the work every single day. That That's just how it is in life. Like you have to be committed, you have to have that why, that vision of what you're doing, and you have to have that passion and that understanding that on the hard days, it is worth it. And so this is the last thing I'm gonna leave you with. I feel like this was like super scattered in my mind. It was so much stronger, but I really hope that you guys are getting at least something out of this. My thing here is if you are feeling a little bit stuck, if you're feeling a little bit defeated in your business, it's really important to be reflective because most of the time, what I see when people are feeling defeated, most of the time, they are not raising the lid of their leadership and they're not in action. You cannot wait for momentum to come to you. You have to go and be the momentum creator of your team, of, of your business. And that starts with daily action. We cannot do a couple of crunches and then expect to have a six pack. We cannot sit down and write a couple paragraphs and expect to have a book written. We cannot expect to send five reach out messages and do a couple of posts every now and then and then find a Beyonce that's going to come and work the business on your team. It doesn't happen that way. You be the Beyonce. You be the person on your team that raises the lid of that leadership and that comes from action daily five days a week. It is absolutely worth it. But the people that I see that don't get to the top are the people that don't have that vision. They don't have that work ethic. They're not in action daily. And if they are in action daily and not getting where they need to be, they need to check the pillars, the pillars of their business. Are they personally recruiting? That's pillar one, pillar two. And when you say pillar, you guys know, like that's foundational. Like these things are foundational for your business. If you do not do these, if you don't have these, your business is not going to be strong. So are they recruiting? Pillar one. Pillar two, are they retaining? Pillar two. Pillar three, are they duplicating? And pillar four, their leadership. So those are your four pillars. If you're struggling in your business, Look at those four pillars and see where you're the weakest and lean into that. There are so many resources, so many different ways that you can learn and grow and train yourself, but you can't just stop at the training. You have to get into that action and really highlight, focus on those four pillars. If you're still struggling, take a look at your belief. Do you believe that you actually can do this? Because here's the thing, anybody can. And I know that we hear that and we're like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. If you go to a Plexus event and you look at all of the jewels first, there are like thousands of jewels, which is incredible. So don't tell me that this is only for a few select people. There are thousands of jewels within Plexus. And when you go and see these people, I love it. They are all ages. They're all sizes. They're all colors. They're all gen genders. Like it's not one cookie cutter person. So you absolutely can get to where you want to be, but that's up to you. You have to be in that consistent action and growing in those four pillars. So check your belief in yourself, check your belief in the products, doing what you guys are doing here with 10 minutes of, of uh, testimonials on the health. That's a huge belief builder. But if that's not fixing it for you, if that's not helping you with your belief, go even deeper. Go find other people, have them share their health stories with you. Go and research some of the ingredients that we have in our products. Go to the info sheets, go to the clinical studies. That's on you. Like this is your business. And if you want it to grow, you have to put in the work and it's fun and it's fulfilling. It's hard, but it's fulfilling and it is a bazillion times worth it.
And the last bit, uh, belief to check on for yourself is what's your belief in this business model? What's your belief in Plexus as a company? If any of those are wavering, those three areas of belief are wavering, then that's going to hurt you. So go and lean into those areas. If you, are, if you don't have a solid belief in what you're doing with network marketing, I encourage you to go and dive in a little bit deeper. Um, Plexus, and like Plexus is ranked, I think we get the award every single year for like the highest integrity network marketing company within the entire world. And we've gotten that for the past like five or six years. So if you guys are like me and integrity is important, that's amazing. Like go and learn more about what we are doing, like who we are as a company, the integrity, the character of who we are as a company, let that build your belief. If your belief is like still wavering a little bit, I wish so badly you could come and sit at my house and have a cup of coffee with me because this business model has allowed me to stay home with my children. It's allowed my husband to leave his job. It's allowed us to buy our dream home and our dream neighborhood. It's allowed us to go on mission trips. It's allowed us to give more generously. It's allowed so many people within this company to be so generous and to so many areas of mission that they're passionate about. So if your belief is wavering, lean into those things. So lean into your pillars, lean into the belief, and get into action, and you are the momentum maker, just keep going. It is 1,000% worth it. I'm sorry, I talked so long and all over the place. That was my deathbed, like I was on my deathbed, so I was stressing, I was stressing a little over it. <laughs> we felt the passion and the deep love you had for all of us during your dying breaths. Sounds so morbid. Boom, done. That's it. That is literally it. You know what I heard a lot of towards the end, Emily? Um, and I'm just going to say, you guys, you guys know this. Like I go through these three books over and over and over again in my Plexus journey. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. Developing the leader within you 2.0. Five levels of leadership. I have lost track how many times. I know it's at least six. I know a couple of years I did it twice, you guys. And I just read. I'm not kidding. Like 10 pages a day, sometimes three, <laughs> sometimes one. Today, I literally read one. You guys, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. But this is where I'm at right now all over again and developing the leader within you 2.0. By the way, I read this like 20 years ago in college and he made a new one 2.0. Like that's how much I love John Maxwell. But check this out. He said one of the top attitudes of a leader and Emily confronted this head on without using the word is disowning our helplessness. You got to disown it. <laughs> Whatever it takes, leaders aggressively pursue solutions. Emily gave us so many solutions. You feeling low belief? You feeling like you're having a number two day, which by the way, every single time you said that, correct me up. A number two day, get it? Number two, <laughs> okay. You guys, we all have them. You guys, listen to this. Robert E. Quinn wrote, a victim is a person who suffers a loss because of the actions of others. Can't blame anybody else, you guys. A victim tends to believe that salvation comes only from the action of others. They have little choice but to whine and wait until something good happens. We've all been there, right? We've all been there. Living with someone who chooses to play the victim role is so draining. Are you that person right now? <laughs> is somebody on your team that person? I know we've had customers that are those people. I just can't do this. I don't want to, I don't understand. I don't think it's going to work for me. It's not, I don't want to give it another month. Those types of things, right? You guys working in an organization where many people have chosen the victim role is absolutely depressing. Like a disease, the condition tends to spread. So let us do just the opposite. And I'm just adding to what Emily said, because she basically said this exact thing. It is going to be all about your decision to strengthen your own belief. And then from that belief, taking the action. If you are feeling like I can't move, you're probably in a victim mentality right now. Take the bull by the horns. Theodore Roosevelt, I love this quote of his. And this is where I'll end and then we can move on to Kim. But there is nothing brilliant nor, under, nor outstanding about my own record, he said, except perhaps one thing. He said, I do the things that I believe ought to be done. And when I make up my mind to do a thing, I act. 
dump the unbelief, grow your own belief, make up your mind, and let's take some action together. Emily, that was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for blessing us with your time and your passion and all of it. You guys can we unmute ourselves and say thank you so much to Miss Emily. I don't know if she's going to stay or go. We want to set her free for her Monday ahead. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Can I stay just so I can hear Kim's? Is that okay? Oh, please. I know I'm excited too. Thank block, you. man. Tell us about Block. Kim, you're next. So glad you're here, friend. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm kind of going to blow your mind. You're, I don't think you're expecting what I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. And actually this is cool because I shared with a good friend of mine, some of these things the other day, even before I knew I was going to end up sharing them with you. So I was already really excited about it. So, and I'm kind of, my mind was blown. I was like, what is happening? So first of all, I've got my block here, block, you know, and we all, we all kind of know what we think block does, right? We know, oh, block, well, I'm gonna have some chocolate cake or I'm gonna have spaghetti and then I'm gonna have pumpkin pie and I'm gonna do all that and I'm gonna take my block because I wanna block the sugars from raising, uh, get that blood glucose up there and then you don't feel good and it's gonna crash and you're gonna have a crash. Um, so, and that's, you know, Plexus is all about keeping our blood sugar balanced and all those things. So I do have notes, I'm not as, amazed like you guys you did it without notes I have notes because there's a lot of stuff I don't want to miss I want to share it so this is what we already know about block um, we know that it's great to take before our cheat meals or before two of your biggest meals every day and I learned something here that it says we can take it in the morning and then take it again at night just for general maintenance general natural weight loss without um what would you say? So like kind of have it like on a schedule and not just use it like, oh, I'm going to have cake. And I thought, cool, I might do that. Try that. See what happens. So Plexus Block is uh, tested and it blocks the absorption of 48% of carbs and sugars without, listen to this, blocking any beneficial, uh, blocking the absorption of any beneficial nutrients. So that's important. Catch that. Also, block helps control carbs and sugars. It reduces the glycemic index of carbs and sugars, and it maintains blood sugar levels, neutralizes enzymes that convert carbs and sugars into glucose. All right. And do you all kind of catch through, you know, hanging out here long enough that our blood sugar levels have a lot to do with our hormones? So I don't even know what to say. We all have these hormones going on, right? I know I do. Um, and then... What's in it, it is exclusive brown seaweed blend, white kidney bean extract, and Chromax, chromium picolinate. That's a fun word, picolinate. Um, Gluten-free, vegetarian, non-GMO. Okay, so that's like the boring part, right? I had to tell you. I just wanted to go through the basics. I learned, this is fascinating. This is not expected. Did you know, I think Bridget posted this. Did you know about the smokers and the addiction people? Um, so for alcoholics and other addicts, and like we're talking about smokers, um, there's a lot of sugar in cigarettes. I never knew that at all. I don't smoke, but I know, um, some people do. So there's like a half a teaspoon of sugar per cigarette. So you can tell your friends or your family or whoever that instead of trying the gums and patches, they might want to try plexus block. And when they're doing plexus block to quit smoking or quit drinking or whatever, they're getting so much more than sticking a patch on their arm or taking whatever med their doctor gave them. If they're gonna do um, plexus block, this is the part that blows my mind. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a personal testimony about myself. Um, so I, I went through a little bit of a stressful um, period there. And, you know, when you're going through life and you're like sailing along and everything's pretty like, you know, la, 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 la. And then you kind of get your, your wind knocked out of your sails or your feet taken out from under you. And then maybe like it happens again in a different way, like maybe something with your kids and then it continues there. And there's just all these little like punches. It's like pow, pow, pow. And eventually you kind of might get to a spot where I woke up one morning, not that long ago, like, I don't know, three forties ago. And I just felt like, I think I'm going to stay in my robe. I don't feel good. I'm just like, blah. I'm just like, 
mm, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know. It's like, I don't feel physically good. I don't feel mentally that good. I don't feel emotionally that good. I'm just in a funk. I'm just blocked. And I thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to look at my supplements and I'm, I got, I got a lot of them. So I was looking at my supplements. I kept getting drawn to block. I thought how weird, cause I'm not going to eat cake. I'm not going to have spaghetti. I just am drawn to take it just like with my breakfast or whatever, with whatever time it was 10 o'clock and I took it. And then I did some stuff that mom stuff, um, boring stuff. I tell you what, within 10 to 15 minutes, something changed in my whole demeanor. My mood lifted. Uh, my, I felt more balanced. I quit thinking such you know, negative thoughts. I was more focused. I was able to snap out of it. And um, I had to get ready. We had a basketball tournament to go to. I got ready. And in the car, I, was, um, I had the opportunity. My husband was driving. So I was like, why did that work? what happened? Something happened to me. I need to figure this out. This is amazing. So I started looking because you guys, I have thyroid stuff. I have to be careful. This stuff with the seaweed in it, it is super good for your thyroid. It says that one in seven women in the United States suffers from an iodine deficiency. It is iodine is crucial to the function of the thyroid gland and that iodine deficiency can result in slowed metabolism. Felt that fatigue, felt that anxiety, felt that brain fog was feeling that and or depression. So I was maybe just running a little low. Okay. And stress can do that. Um, iodine functions as a great chelating agent, a powerful antioxidant as a player in the metabolism of many other hormones, including adrenal and sex hormones. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then I'm like, what's going on with this seaweed stuff? Like, let's look it up. Let's talk about the brown seaweed. Let's talk about the bladder rack. Oh, oh gosh, couldn't even believe it. Um, brown algae contains several chemicals that work as antioxidants. They are thought to prevent uh, damage to the body that can lead to cancer and other conditions. Chemicals contained in brown algae might also have effects on inflammation and the body's immune system. So I wasn't even feeling good physically. And I took that and it changed, something switched. I actually hadn't, I actually had like a stomach ache for days and now I don't. So I don't know if Block did something fancy in there or what, but it, I'm feeling better. Brown seaweed, there's like a list of things because you get that antioxidant going in your body, cancer, fibromyalgia, arthritis. I, this is research that I just, I found on this chronic fatigue syndrome, insomnia, high cholesterol, heart disease, asthma, Gulf war syndrome, post-traumatic stress, multiple chemical sensitivity, weight loss, and other. Then I looked up, okay, okay, what's the bladder act? Who's ever heard of bladder act? That sounds weird. It is a type of seaweed. You guys, if you have bladder act working in your system for you, it helps. It's got alginic acid. I don't know. I had never heard of it alginic acid. It is um, a type of dietary fiber that may be used to relieve constipation and or diarrhea. It is for gastritis because it is high in mucilage, which may be advantageous for people with gastritis because of its slippery nature. It soothes irritated mucous membranes of the digestive tract. Okay. Bladder act is soothing and it is used to treat reflux and heartburn. It is um, a type of seaweed circling back around to the thyroid, contains iodine. Hypothyroidism um, due to insufficient iodine intake may improve with bladder act supplementation, okay? Um, it is really good for indigestion, heartburn, and low stomach acidity. It is a, do now this word, I, I like had to practice it. I'm like, demulcent, 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 okay. Um, it is a demulcent herb, meaning it seems to work by decreasing, again, inflammation and forming a barrier against irritants such as stomach acid. Also, last thing, because I know it's overwhelming, everything I'm telling you, it is really good that alginic acid is good for wound healing. It says calcium alginate has shown promise as an agent to speed wound healing. So like, mind blown. I think I got, I think I covered it all with you guys, but, oh, and then I have some personal notes. 
I, because I, I thought it not fair to just completely ignore that there's chromium in it as well as white kidney bean extract. And the chromium um, is, they are using chromium and they have been for a really long time. I've actually, that's something I've known for years. Chromium to help balance blood sugars and prevent diabetes, reduces high cholesterol, may prevent weight gain and overeating tendencies. It helps your brain health, hello, which I, I don't know, I need that. And fight cognitive brain diseases. It improves your skin health and prevents acne. It supports healthy metabolism, energy levels, maintaining eye health. I don't know, I need that. Um, protects your bones from fractures and osteoporosis. So like, why, what are we doing when we don't talk about black? I just, and you know what I told my friend? I said, I am putting black in my arsenal as my own personal super, like super feel better tonic not to take just for chocolate cake. So last of all, just a couple things, white kidney bean. When I looked up white kidney bean, it is like across the board being called the number one carb blocker of yes. any other, uh, uh, ingredient or whatever property. Um, it helps, and I love this because I'm 43. It said it especially helps with the fat around your abdominal area. That is where my fat is. <laughs> like, yay! And it so supports glucose metabolism, increases your energy levels, lowers your blood sugar, improves blood lipids. And I stopped. I like, I thought that's enough. I'm not gonna write down any more things. You guys can look more stuff up on your own. I just didn't want to keep on going on and on and on and have you feel like you're in science class. But it's definitely a product that I'm gonna share. So, oh, I love it. I want to make a graphic, a really simple one and be like, you might need block it, blah, 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 like five things. And then send it my, to my customers and be like, I'm so sorry. I haven't shared this with you. It might be perfect though to try around the holidays. Do you know yeah. that my mom, French, French woman, right? Born in Paris, France, she would make lamb and white kidney beans, or sometimes she would use white Navy beans. And I just remember as a kid, she would always make sure to tell us why she was feeding us, what she was feeding us. And I love that. It like made little files in my brain nutritionally uh, from a very young age. So grateful for that. But she would be like, this is going to help your body better digest and deal with the fatty lamb that we're eating tonight and the bread and butter. And she always said that, isn't that so interesting? It is an incredible carb blocker, but all of those other things, I'm like, I don't even care about the carb blocking anymore. Give me all the other things. The hormonal connection is astounding. So yeah, if you guys feel like you're hitting some lids and you want to bring in something new, don't forget our bodies get into ruts as well. That's why it's really good to go to our customers and be like, Hey, I've noticed you've been on plexus for like four to five months. When was the last time that you tweaked like the time of day that you're taking your slim? Hey, do you want to try taking your vital biome at night and your probile five in the morning for a while? Hey, you guys, that's what I did after my surgery. I was like, what is wrong with my gut? after the narcotics and the antibiotics, all this stuff, like, it was like one of those gut feelings. I was like, God, show me what to do. I started taking vital biome at night with my probio five. I mean, I was pulled out of dis like, really, I was despairing. You guys, I found myself back in a really, really rough place emotionally and mentally. I told my husband, Oh no, I feel like I'm slipping and I don't think it's spiritual. I'm like talking to the Lord. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the truth. Like I feel like it's physiological, you know, you guys within like 10 days, I was just pulled out of that. And I know for whatever reason, vital biome at night tweaked it, woke my body up. So bring in block, tweak your supplements. Don't be afraid to try new things. Take three X Factor Plus instead of two. Take it at dinner instead of in the morning. All those things. You guys, I cannot say thanks enough for all the wonderful sharing that happened here today. I hope that your belief is just up to here and that you will not just leave it up to here in your head, that you'll let it spill out your mouth right now. In fact, I dare you, I dare you, go message a couple people that you would love to work with. Go message a couple of customers. Let them hear your passion about our products and our comp plan and our training. Point them to this call, okay? Have a great day. Always praying for you. We thank God for you. Thank you for all of your hard work. We see you 
in here for you. Bye. Thank you, Emily. Thank you so much, Brittany and Kim. Mwah. Let's go buy some block, man. Add to cart. <laughs>